What's happening YouTube? Let's get right into this. this is the final tutorial in this series. Um, I'm just going to wrap it up. We're going to do a quick port scan. Okay. And um, I'm also going to show you what it looks like on your Android device as you're going to know because you've already built the APK hopefully in the previous tutorial. Okay. Not much left. All we're going to do is we're going to add an extra scatter layout to the previous tutorial. Now this scatter layout um, is going to contain a scroll view okay and it's going to contain all the results um, that we get from a port scan or just a normal nmap scan now i'm keeping this very very basic everything is a bit rough and ready and it's a bit rough around the edges okay but that's how i want it to be because i want you guys to obviously solve any issues that you may have with uh, sizing the labels and uh, what have you okay i'm giving you the basics here so you guys are free to do what you will um, with this tool. Okay, so all we've got basically is a, um, a land scan at the moment, and we're just gonna put the port scan in right now. So if we get the um, scatter layout, okay. Now you can follow these dimensions or you can play around with the dimensions and see what looks better in your device, all right? And we're going to uh, propagate the scroll view with a box layout right and we're going to give it an id and it's going to be called port scan results all right so if we uh, copy that and let's just go to tutorial 8 and what we're going to do is we're going to paste it here well, hopefully you guys are um, actually coding this out Alright, so we've got another widget here. All right now, obviously, what we need to do is when um, the actual node is pressed. Okay, so when it's shown in the scroll view, whatever node it is, when it's actually pressed, I want to call a function that will scan um, the port on that particular node. All right. So first things first, what we're going to do is going to import this a widget here um, let's do that so we do uh, self um, let me just make sure I name it exactly the same just um, to make sure let's copy that right so port self dot port scan results equals self dot ids port scan results so we can access it Okay, and also there's a couple more imports. Um, we've got the RE module, which we're going to be using, and I'll explain why. Okay, and also um, we're going to import the commands module, which is another module that you can actually get output rather than uh, using the subprocess module. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that using this. All right, so we've got from commands import get output and we've got the import re so let's do that so we do a from uh, commands import 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 uh, get output and let's do an import re right so let's see here i'm just recapping myself from um on this code because i haven't looked at it in a couple of days so we've got an on press right so when the node is pressed okay it's propagated when the node is pressed we want to call a function and we're going to name this uh get ports right so let's define that here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to go through the code with you. So let's copy it and let's come down here. And we can put this anywhere really. Let's put it after the date time function. Let's paste it there. Hopefully everything's okay. Right. 
so what we're doing here is um, the node is pressed actually let me um, give you an example okay so but what I need to do is because this is an APK as you remember the output on um, Ubuntu and on Android is different so I have to do this to get it to run on Ubuntu just comment that out uh, is there one above this? No. And my phone's ringing. Okay. Let me just pause this a second. Right, so that's the phone call over and done with. Okay, so, yes, we were commenting out um, these lines here so I can get it to run on Ubuntu. And it would be this one here. Uh, so I'm commenting that. Oh, actually. It would be like that, yes. Okay, I'll put OK. And I believe there's one more here. And that's fine as it is. So that should run without any errors. Hopefully. But we'll find out. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It's not um, an in depth series, okay? But um, I hope that some of you got something out of this let's just run this and there we have it so we've got a scatter layout with nodes and we can scroll and that's all good right so when we press this I want to actually um, make another label appear on the screen which is a scroll view which will contain all of um, the open ports and services okay so that's what we're doing now Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to attach um, the function that we just defined to the actual uh, button press. So we're going to do an on press on the node. And it would be, and it's not colon, it's equal, self dot um, get, I think it's get ports, wasn't it? We'll find out in a minute. Let's go up here. Is it get ports? It is get ports. Right, so get ports, which takes self and the actual instance. The instance is the button. Okay, so it's taking all the text of the button. Right, here is a, just a test. Okay, so just for debugging, just to let me know what I'm getting. So print the button text. Now self.portscan results.clear widgets. I want to clear the previous results we've got. Now the reason I'm using the RE module is because on certain outputs, um, Nmap will give you, instead of giving you a host name, if we come down here, um, on Android it doesn't resolve hosts. Okay, I haven't got this to work, but I haven't really tried. If you guys want to try and get it to resolve hosts, then that's cool, but it doesn't re resolve hosts. So what would happen is, um, it will give you a slightly different output than what you'd get on here on Ubuntu. Okay, so all I'm doing literally is just grabbing the IP from the text, right? So this is what this is, um, slash D is for digits, one to three, obviously 192, and then slash um, dot or full stop or decimal. Okay, and then we carry on the pattern, and I don't want to do that. Um, just bear with me, someone's at the door. Brilliant. Okay, that's over and done with. So we've got the uh, decimal there, and we've got the re repetition here. Okay, so let's just make sure I didn't move anything there. And that looks all right. Okay, and we're passing it the button text. Right, I do reckon you should go through um, the RE module because it is really powerful. Uh, Trevor Payne does a wicked tutorial on it, brilliant tutorial, so check that out. Um, let's just make that neater. And now what all we're doing is we're calling the get output function from the commands module. Okay, um, and we're getting the output from nmap and we're concatenating the IP here, which would be um, the ID zero. Now, the reason I put the ID in there is because if we have um, output from Nmap such as this here, 
right? Instead of having um, the username or the host name, it's actually resolved um, the IP twice, okay? And that's how Nmap does it. So that's just to um, stop any errors. Now this is just for debugging. And now all we're doing here is we're taking the port scan results. Remember the ID that we imported up to, uh, up there with the scroll view, and we're adding a widget and we're adding a button. Okay, and the text is going to be green. And we're formatting X, which is the output from our call. These are just basic uh, formatting instructions. The background, okay. And this is just for size. All right, so that looks okay. Methinks. Let's see how this goes. Let's just build it. I've got a feeling I'm going to get an error. I don't know why. But let's scan the network. And wait for it to scan. Now, the laptop I'm actually working on is actually broken. The hinges are broken. But I'm going to make a little uh, movie, hardware movie. Um, to show how I'm going to fix it as well, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. So, for example, if I wanted to scan that, I would press the button, and hopefully, it's scanning now. And we should get a label here somewhere in a second. I've actually pressed it twice, I don't know whether that's going to do anything. There you go. Okay, and my computer is freaking out, right. What we're going to do is let's get rid of you and let's build you again. All right, so we've got a flashing eyes, I think. Get network. Scan network. And wait for them to pop up in a second. Alright, so there we have our nodes. Let's scan that. And wait for the results to pop up. Now I'm going to put an example of uh, of it working on my Galaxy S4 um, on the screen as well, just so you can see it working. All right, so it's fully working. All right, from start to finish, fully working um, Nmap application that you've built. Okay. Now everything looks all right there. We can scroll up and down. It gives us the services that are open on this particular device that we've scanned and it's scanned let me see see here it's actually letting us know the username or the host name okay rather than the ip right and that's the mac address and these are all the services so the user can move that around and also move this around so that's basically it guys um Hopefully you guys got something out of this. I enjoyed making these tutorials. Um, some suggestions for the tool. Um, if you want to want to uh, build on this, um, I would suggest like maybe even putting a console here somewhere um, so the user can actually input and map commands um, on the command line, which would be pretty cool. Obviously, a lot more functions. The safe scan has not been defined something else obviously I mean the sky's the limit so you guys can do whatever you want uh, stay tuned uh, I've got a lot more videos coming and a lot more ideas um, and um, hopefully a lot to teach and um, hopefully inspire a couple of you which should be good the next video coming up um, is going to be the hardware project for this laptop all right because I'm going to fix this bad boy Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you really liked it, hit the thumbs up. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.